So using some of the techniques that we've covered so far with the primitive shapes, let's go ahead and use some of those towards making a little bit more of a complex object uh, here on this high poly stoplight that we've got here. Now it may appear a little bit daunting with the large amount of you know, small bits and details that we have here, uh, but we're going to go ahead and cover uh, some basics about using instances and using pivot points in such a way that we can easily duplicate some of these complex shapes over and over again uh, in sort of a repetitive manner uh, so that we can basically only have to worry about modeling uh, you know some of those pieces once rather than having to tackle the entire object as a whole and one of the easier ways that we can accomplish that also is to take advantage of using uh, floating geometry and what I mean by floating geometry is for example this back plate piece that I have here um, Instead of trying to create this entire light housing and, this, and all these little bolts and pieces as a, a single solid mass, what we're going to actually do is we're going to go ahead and float these pieces out, off of them uh, so that they're, they're actual individual pieces. And what that's going to help us do also is that will give us an opportunity to kind of hone in and focus on a single piece one at a time and sort of like little micro projects if you will and so you could you could grab this little plate you could make that look really good and then you decide okay I'm gonna go onto this backing and then I'm gonna make these bolts and that's just using taking advantage of using floating geometry um, rather than trying to model and, and cut all this stuff into single solid masses now there are instances where you're gonna want to do that and, and we definitely uh, try to take advantage of some of that and some of these other shapes I mean we could just as easily float some of this um, but sometimes you're going to get a better uh, result, whether you're doing this for games or uh, animation. Sometimes actually having all of your pieces attached is actually going to uh, give you better results. And so we'll, we'll cover a little bit of both, whether it's floating geometry or, uh, or solid mass geometry as well. Uh, e either one, we're, both of those techniques are very, very solid. Um, and we'll be looking at a few of those different techniques today. Now, one of the first steps that I will do when working with a high poly object is I will basically go in and sort of block in each of the major shapes um, that will ultimately be used with my turbo smoothed and high poly object. And essentially, this step is simply used just to kind of get a basic shape of the form. Um, you know, if you've gotten this far, you should have a little bit of a basic understanding of, you know, how, how to create some of these simple shapes and simple patterns. And so this, this first step is just to sort of feel out the, the silhouette of the object, kind of get an idea for scale, um, as well as, you know, understanding that, hey, we're going to go ahead and mirror off some of these pieces. So, for example, with this light seg segment here up top, I know that I can go ahead and start off with just one of them, make it look really good. And then when I'm done uh, modeling that out with a high poly, I'll go ahead and duplicate it down. And we'll be going through some of these pieces here and we'll be discussing, um, you know, my thought process behind creating them, as well as, you know, some basic tricks as, uh, to go ahead and create some of these shapes. Now, if you're modeling this for games, one thing that you'll need to keep in mind is that the silhouette of your high polygon object is basically what your uh, silhouette for the low poly is going to ultimately be as well. So, you know, silhouette, form, and shape, and all of that, this is, this is what this process is all about, is, is really nailing that stuff down uh, with basic blocked-in shapes before you really start to get your hands dirty with uh, turbo smoothing and high poly modeling.